Welcome to Pregnancy and Postpartum TV. Today we're doing Pregnancy Pilates. If you're following along with the Pregnancy Challenge, this is day six. You can also do this as a standalone video as well. You don't need any equipment for this workout except for a mat or comfortable floor to get down on. And optionally, I will use a couple of two pound dumbbells or you could just grab cans of beans or water bottles. I will keep making pregnancy and postpartum yoga, Pilates workouts every week. If you like videos like these and to support me, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Let's come to a comfortable cross-legged position. If you wanted to sit on a pillow or a block, you can. Let's start with a gentle neck circles. You can do a half circle. If it feels good, you can put some tension in front of your collarbone here. Switching sides. Good. Now let's grab our knees and we're gonna do some circles with our upper body. So think about taking your rib cage and moving it around in a circle and you can use your knees as leverage Moving into any spaces that feel tight. Let's switch and go the other direction. Coming back to a neutral spine, let's move on to all fours for some pelvic tilt. So we're going to tuck our pelvis under, not moving into cat and cow quite yet, doing the pelvic tilts, getting some mobilization. Exhale, pulling your belly in as you tuck under. Good. coming back to a neutral spine. Now we're gonna picture that we have something between our shoulder blades. We're gonna press up through our shoulder blades and then bring our scapula together as we lower down. Beautiful. And now we can move in to cat and cow, starting with our pelvis and then rounding out, pushing out through our hands. Inhale, moving the other direction. Good. Exhale, starting with your pelvis, rounding out. Inhale, looking up. Good. Now we'll move in to bird dog. Again, imagining that we have a glass of water, keeping our core very stable. Let's lift opposite hand and leg. We can lift up. We're gonna come down again. We're gonna tap 10 times, keeping your core pulled in. Last one, we're going to hold up here and then take our arm and leg out to the side, bringing it back in 10 times. Beautiful. Two more. Last one, good. Bring it down, take a breath. Let's set up on the other side. 
reaching opposite hand and leg, re-engaging your core, lift, keeping your spine very stable. Two more. Last one, good, stay up here. Bring it out to the side, keeping your leg and arm level. Two more. Last one, good. Bring it down. Let's move into some large hip circles. Switching directions. back to all fours. We can make our way up to standing now, however is comfortable for you. Let's take our feet hip width distance apart and sit back into chair position, engaging your core. Come on up. We'll repeat 10 times. Exhale, down, pulling in your baby, moving with your own breath. On this last one, let's stay low. We can turn our palms down, re-engage our core. Tiny swimming arms here. Continue to breathe. Couple more seconds. Good, release. Come on up. If you're gonna grab small weights, you can, or water bottles. We're gonna turn our feet parallel here. We're going to come up on our toes slightly, not too high. We're going to plie down as we do a bicep curl, coming back up again. 10 here, core is engaged. Squeezing your knees and thighs together. Two more. Last one. Now we're going to go down two, up two, down two. Up, two, good. Two more. And we'll come down, pulse here. Release, coming up. Now move into our V position here. And this time we're going to curl externally rotating. So if you want, you can come up onto your toes slightly, plie, 
Coming up, heels together. Beautiful. Squeezing at the top. Last one, good. Down, two, up, two, good. Last one, come down, pulse here. Breathe through the burn. Good, come on up, we can shake it out. Let's take our feet out to second position. We can bring our hands up to behind our head, squat down, we're going to Lean, exhale, coming back up. Beautiful. Inhale, exhale. Last one, good, coming up. Let's step our feet together. We're gonna take our hands out to the front. We're gonna do some postural marches here. So articulating through your foot, thumbs up, switching sides. Core is engaged. Last one, beautiful. I'm gonna to turn to the side here. I'm gonna open up my arm, shoulders are rolled back and scapula coming in. We're going to take one foot extended and then lift to the back, core pulls in. Beautiful, let's bring that in. Switch to the other side, finding your balance, lift. Last one, good, let's come to the top of the mat, we're going to lunge back, engage your core. Let's take our hands in front. And as we lunge back, we'll open and then re-engaging your core. Exhale, bring it all together. Switching to the other foot. Using your core. Last one, good. This time we can lunge back, but we're gonna keep our back leg straight. Let's bring our hands up behind for some tricep pulses. Tiny little pulses here, re-engaging your core. Beautiful, continue to breathe.
release. We can switch to the other side. Finding your position, bringing your arms up again, tiny pulses here. Couple more seconds. Release down, good. We can take a sip of water and then we'll come down to the mat. Let's come to all fours, spreading your fingers, pressing into each of your fingers, the pads of your fingers. Let's curl our toes. We're gonna press into downward dog or upside down V position. Looking up at your belly, lots of length in your neck, spreading your fingers and toes. And from here, we're going to bend our knees, finding lots of length in our back, engaging your core, pressing into your toes, straighten again. Beautiful. Let's do that again four more times. Bend, engage, exhale, straighten. Heels reach for the mat. Again. Moving with your own breath. Let's release back down to our knees, and then we can come sit on our heels. We're going to tuck our pelvis under, and coming up, releasing down, engaging your core, exhale. As you come up, inhale down, tuck. Beautiful. Stay up here. I'm going to turn so you can see me. We're going to tip to the side, keeping your core engaged, pulled in. We can extend one leg out. Let's bring that leg up and we're going to swing it forward and back like a pendulum, keeping it nice and level, preventing your hips from rocking. You might feel it in both glutes. Good. Last one. Point it straight out to the side. Let's do some circles. Keeping your core pulled in. Other way. Beautiful, point it here. We're gonna flex, point, flex, point. Hold it high, flex, point, two more. Good. Let's release all the way down to the ground. You can line your body up with your mat. Bring your feet slightly in front into your V position. If it's feeling uncomfortable for your belly, you can also put a blanket or a wedge underneath it to support your belly. We're gonna kick up, flex, bring it back down again, point. Beautiful, up, squeezing your leg muscles, moving with control. Last one. Good. Point it again. We're going to tap in front. 
behind. You can bring your bottom leg back a little bit. That feels more balanced. Tap in front, behind. Trying not to let your hips rock. They might rock a little bit. Continue to breathe. Good. Bring it up. Tiny pulses here. Release down. Let's bend. Can rub here. Take some deep breaths. Let's actually grab our knee and do some easy hip circles. Grabbing your foot, let's stretch through our quads. Good, release. Let's make our way up onto the other side. Let's come to our kneeling position. Engaging your core, tipping over to the side, extending that leg, making sure that your supporting leg is pointing straight back. Let's lift up and then we're gonna swing it forward and back. Hips are stable, baby is pulled in. One more. Good, straighten it out, tiny circles. Going the other way. Flex and point, articulating through your foot. Beautiful, release down. Let's go all the way on our side. Finding your positioning, engaging your legs, and then we'll kick up, flex down 10 times. Last one, good. We can bring our bottom leg back a little bit, point the top and rainbows here. Really using your core to stabilize your body and your hip. Last tap here, bring it up, tiny pulses. Beautiful, release down, bring it in. Take some big breaths. Releasing through your hip now. Moving into a quad stretch, knee pressing away from you. We're 
releasing. From here, we're going to roll over. We're not gonna go on our back because we don't want to stay on our back exercising during pregnancy, especially if you're late in pregnancy. So we're gonna prop ourselves up on our elbows. Let's point our feet, turn them out. We're gonna do some toe taps here. So we're gonna lift down, engage, pull your baby in. As you exhale, slightly tucking your tailbone under. Two more, last one, beautiful. Let's take a big breath. Re-engaging our core, tucking your tailbone under, lifting the other side. Exhale as you lift. Last one, good. Let's bring our knees together. Let's pull our knees in, extend our leg, flex our feet. We're gonna do some plies here. The higher you keep your legs up, the safer it is gonna be for your core, and the lower you bring them down, more challenging. So go where is safe for you. We're gonna plie and then straighten, beautiful keeping your core engaged. Beautiful, bringing them down, release down to the ground. We can roll over on our side safely to come up. I've got my legs in a mermaid position here. If this isn't comfortable, you could also do a cross-legged position. Let's do some gentle side stretches here. We're gonna be stretching from here out. Stretch up, lots of space in your side body and ribs. Reaching over, taking deep breaths into your side ribs and back. One more breath here. Good. Exhale, pull your body up. We'll stretch to the other side. Inhale up and over, breathing here. Good. Inhale, coming up. We can switch to the other side. Inhale up, stretching over. Exhale, coming on up and switching to the other side. Inhale up, good. We're gonna move into a figure four stretch. If you're early on in your pregnancy, you can do this on your back or you could also do it on a chair. We're gonna cross one foot over, sitting tall, releasing through your hips and your glutes. If it feels good, you can rock back and forth. Finding anywhere that feels tight. Switching to the other side when you're ready. Sitting tall, pressing our shoulders away from our ears, taking any movement that feels good.
Let's release out of here. We can come for a wide-legged forward fold, flexing our feet, sitting tall. Let's stretch over, big inhale into your ribs. Exhale, switching sides. Exhale, coming up. Let's bring our knees together, moving into one last child's pose. Knees can be wide apart to make room for your belly. Walking your hands forward, extending through your spine. Big breaths. When you're ready, let's walk our hands back in. We can come to a seated position. You did amazing. We are now done day six of the challenge. I would love to know what you thought about Pilates class in the comments below. I will also link to my free resources you can find in the description box below, a pregnancy meal plan that I put together as a registered dietitian, my ebook on how to reduce and cope with pain during labor and birth, as well as a pelvic floor guide on how to prepare your pelvic floor for birth and the fastest recovery after. I will keep making pregnancy, Pilates, workouts, yoga, as well as postpartum every week. If you like videos like these and to support me, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share this with the video with another pregnant friend. Thank you so much for joining me. You did amazing and I will see you in the next video.